Hello everybody, this is Cougar with World of Me, another Technician's Corner. This is a Latitude 5590. As you can see right here, there is a cracked screen. First thing we're going to do is take the little spudger tool, which is either plastic or Teflon, and go ahead and pry it from the outside in to release the little tabs that hold it together. Also, there will be some double stick tape that's around the inside edge of the bezel. And uh, so you're going to have to be careful as you pry it apart not to crack or break the bezel itself if you have to reuse it. Also, uh, you want to do it carefully so that you don't have any of the plastic pieces from the old LCD stuck to the back of the bezel uh, on the double stick tape to keep it from uh, sitting down flat when you replace it. Next, we're going to go ahead and take out these four screws. And from here, we're going to go ahead and lift the piece out. Now, you want to pry up here at the corners where the tabs are at so that you don't crack anything and make any more of a mess. Next thing you want to do is pull up this anti-static tape. And then underneath that, once you get it uh, pulled off, there's going to be a piece of uh, clear or semi-clear tape. Make sure with either one of these that you don't let them fold over on themselves because you will have to reuse them uh, when you put the new LCD in. As you can see here, there is yet another piece of tape, and this is a little piece of foam tape, and that's used to help keep the little wire hinge piece, it's a little holder or keeper that holds the actual connector together. Once you lift that piece up off, then you can slide it out and you can lift away the old LCD. Next, we'll go ahead and remove the film off of the front of the new LCD. You don't want to leave it on there because most of the time there is print on it as well. It also uh, makes it so that the LCD doesn't work to its optimal efficiency when you're trying to look through it. Now when you're trying to plug this back into the new LCD uh, you need to be careful of this area where it plugs in at. This whole section where the black tape is at is all electronic components and they are rather sensitive so you need to make sure that you don't squish it or bend it in any way. Uh, we'll of course fold that little wire clip down. Now we're using the foam tape which helps to hold that wire clip down and since it sticks up a little bit when the other pieces of tape fold over top of it, they push down on that wire clip to help hold it in place. Make sure the uh, other pieces of tape go on there flat. And then when you go to flip the LCD over onto the back, make sure obviously that there is nothing there so that uh, you don't crack this new screen. Make sure to, of course, replace all four screws in the corners. And then from there, we can take and put the bezel back on. If you have a new bezel, you'll need to remove all of the backer tape or anything that may be on it uh, that keeps the double stick tape uh, fresh. Otherwise, just make sure that all of the little tabs are pressed down evenly. Next, we can try it and start it up. And here we can see we have a good screen. Well, I'd like to wish you guys all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.